In this week's video, we discuss the importance of hydration. Not specific to training hydration, there's been tons written and blogged about the subject of what to drink, how much to drink, sweat rates and all that sort of thing while you are training. But what I'm specifically talking about is your day-to-day -day hydration. Especially, for instance, here in Spain, we have temperatures of over 40 degrees. For you Americans, that means over 100 degrees. If you are underhydrated, you're likely to be sluggish, irritable, and what I refer to as having brain fog. The same sort of side effects as what you'd have from having, for instance, too little sleep or too few quality calories in your diet. The important question here is, are you hydrated enough? And here I give a shout out and thanks to Durian Ryder from down in Australia. I've posted a link to his channel below for those of you who haven't checked him out. And if you haven't and you don't know about him, do check him out. He gives excellent advice on both fr uh, fruit and vegetable plant-based nutrition as well as some excellent training tips and ideas as well. In some of the videos he posts, I do disagree with one or two of the minor points he raises and I'll be t discussing those in some videos to come. Not hating, just saying to him about it. But back to the matter at hand. During the course of last year, his intro to each and every single one of his videos was a hydration chart. Um, he seems to have left that of his videos for the last while. Probably, maybe he guesstimates that everybody is sufficiently hydrated to have been taught the message last year. But what I see around me on a day-to-day -day basis, it's a message that can't be repeated enough. So as regards Duran Ryder's hydration chart, take a look, here it is now. If your urine color matches those above the red line, you're okay. Continue hydrating as you are. If your urine color matches those below the red line, then you really need to drink some more water and quickly. Also, if you pee less than eight times a day, you need to drink more water. It's as simple as that. The best way to start your day from a hydration point of view is with a liter of water. To translate that into American, that's a quart of water on waking up in the morning. If, like me, you train first thing in the morning, then have a small amount of your liter of water before training and the remainder on returning. Because the last thing that you want to do is do your morning run with a liter of water sloshing around inside your belly. If a liter of water first thing in the morning feels like absolutely too much for you to handle, start with half a liter and work your way up from there, even if you're not an athlete in training. This hydration advice is equally important for you. A colleague of mine here in office whose daily water consumption is only 500 milliliters. That's a pint. That's far too little. If you remain dehydrated for too long, you start picking up things like kidney problems, liver problems, and all sorts of other ailments that are totally and completely unnecessary. Also, following a whole food plant-based nutrition lifestyle will also help you to keep your fluid levels topped up because fresh fruit and vegetables has a very high water content. But remember that an important part of maintaining adequate hydration during a training session is arriving to the training session adequately hydrated. And finally, when you're out on your weekly long run, it is vital to carry our hydration pack, especially in these temperatures that we have at the moment here in summer. Personally, I use the Camelback Hydrobag and it serves me very well. I've also posted a link to that in the description below for more information. That's it for this time. See you again. Cheers.